Hey, I'm Alexandra Harbushka, founder of Life with Herpes. Okay, I'm gonna tell you some very shocking information today. Why is it between 75 and 90% of the population with genital herpes don't know they have it? Okay, so when you hear that information, between 75 to 90% of the people living with genital herpes don't know they have it. How is that possible? Oh my gosh, how is that possible? All right, because I know when I was diagnosed, and if you're like me, you're like, there's no way you do not know you have herpes. Like, I couldn't sit down. I was in so much physical pain. I mean, I still went to work, but I don't really know how. Like, how I just like kind of waddled along. I couldn't wear jeans. Like, that wasn't even an option. I know for HSV1, I actually went to the emergency room. I was so dehydrated, I couldn't swallow. Every, I mean, there's just no way that, like, when I hear that, how do you not know you have herpes? The other thing I hear when I hear that is, that's really scary to think that people have herpes and don't know they have it. And that's part of the reason why there's so much um, transmission that occurs and why we go, oh my gosh, how did this happen to me? So I do, I will quote for you the statistic that does say between 75 to 90% of the population has herpes. So here's three reasons why they don't know they have it. Number one, they're not getting tested for it. So even if they are being res responsible, sexually active adults, and they're going in and periodically and getting tested for STDs, STIs, unless you specifically ask for herpes, it's not included on the test. So I'm gonna say that again. You specifically have to ask for a herpes test when you're getting tested for STIs. Very, very, very important. The second reason is the majority of the population is asymptomatic. What does that mean? They have no symptoms. I don't know about them, but I'm pretty jealous. I know there's a lot of people that are being very jealous of you if you're like, I don't have any symptoms. I don't know. I don't know. So jealous of you, right? I have dealt with genital outbreaks significantly recently. so. There's a lot of people that would be like, oh my gosh. But for, the, for you that's like, I don't know, I don't get outbreaks, that is a big thing. Most of the people that have herpes actually do not know they have it because they're not getting outbreaks. You can't know if you have something if you don't get the outbreak, right? Okay, and number three, the final reason why you wouldn't know that you have herpes is you would think that it's something else. So prior to having herpes, I had this thought, this, this like idea that a herpes outbreak would be on your genitals, like specifically your genitals. So be on a male's penis or a woman's vagina, like that's just where it's gonna be. Well, that's not the case. A herpes outbreak, a genital herpes outbreak can be really anywhere in the boxer region. So it can be below your belly button, it can be on the inside of your, like inside your thighs, it can be on your hamstring, it can be on your hip, it can be on your butt. Me specifically, I get them on my tailbone. So there are other spots that you're like, oh, I see that there's like a bump there or there's like a little cut, but like that's not herpes because it's not on my genitals. So that's another reason. We think it's a bug bite. We think it's, um, I must have slipped or fell in or so something that we just tell, our tell ourselves like, oh, I just must have a rash from whatever. So those three reasons are why people don't know they have herpes. There was a study done that showed they tested, you know, people, that went in, did a random test, and yeah, between 75 to 90% of the people came back with genital herpes. Like that's just so astounding. So the point of this is that this is why when we talk to our partners, like, hey, do you, like, have you gotten tested recently? Hey, do you have genital herpes? Or hey, do you have any other STIs? We really need to be specific about asking them, have you been tested? Have you been tested for herpes specifically? Those are really some important things. All right, I have a download for you. It's something that I put together, it's free. I put together things I wish I would have known prior to having herpes, and it basically has all the information that you would want to know about herpes. It has a lot of um, over-the-counter remedies if you're getting outbreaks. It has a lot of things like um, some foods to eat, some foods to avoid, just a lot of great general information if this is something that's obviously a new topic to you, or you just wanna learn more. Again, it's free. Um, I'll have it linked for you to go to, and you can just download it and get all the fun information. All right, I will see you soon in the next video. Let me know what you wanna hear, and I will create that information for you.
All right, have a great day. Bye, guys.